down on Florida's Gulf Coast, where Hurricane Milton made landfall last night. The true extent of devastation is just now being revealed. The storm struck near Saratoga around 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time as a Category 3 hurricane with winds reaching 120 miles per hour in St. Petersburg. The powerful winds ripped off the roof of the Tropicana Stadium, home of the Tampa Bay Rays. First responders who had gathered there for shelter had to be evacuated just moments before the roof was torn apart. A giant crane also came crashing down onto an office building, sending debris across downtown. Town. Just a few miles from here, a 14-year-old boy was pulled from rising waters, clutching debris as he swept away by the floodwaters. Boats were carried from the marina and left stranded on front lawns in Punta Gorda as the storm surged. Florida has never seen nothing like this. The National Weather Service reported an unprecedented 126 tornado warnings across the state, shattering records. At least 38 tornadoes were confirmed, with massive twisters tearing through communities from Palm Beach to Fort Pierce. Entire homes were turned into splinters as people huddled inside, praying to survive. The destruction continued as the hurricane pushed in, bringing a deadly storm surge and triggering hundreds of rescues. They spoke with the Desire family here in Fort Pierce. Roger and Karen Desire, along with their four children, huddled together as the tornado roared through their home. They showed us the upstairs rooms where the children's walls were completely destroyed. By some miracle, the family survived. Just across the street, Nelson and Maria had a terrifying close call of their own. Returning home from a friend's house just up the street, they pulled into their driveway only to be caught directly in the path of the tornado. They huddled in their car as the twister tore through, breaking windows and battering their vehicle. Governor Ron DeSantis has mobilized thousands of National Guard troops to assist in the recovery and rescue operation. While the storm surge wasn't as severe as initially predicted, the damage left behind is still significant. Debris fills the streets of Sarasota and Venice. Entire homes have been torn apart, and families are left with nothing but the clothes on their backs. Tonight, the massive search and rescue operations continue as emergency crews go door to door, rescuing people trapped in their homes. First responders in Hillsborough County have rescued more than 725 people so far, including 135 residents from a senior living facility. Rescue teams have been working tirelessly, wading through waist-deep waters to bring stranded residents to safety. But beyond the destruction, there's a sense of resilience and hope. People are coming together to help each other rebuild. Neighbors are opening their doors to provide shelter, food, and support. Despite the devastation, the human spirit remains unbroken. Hurricane Milton to go down in history is one of the most powerful and destructive storms to hit Florida. But so too will the stories of survival and unity in this aftermath. This is K.O. Kane signing off from Fort Pierce. For more updates on the situation and our ongoing coverage, stay tuned to KK47 TV. I get to the bag, she clutching a purse. She calling me dad while I'm whipping the vert. The paper plates on the window defrost. I step on the gas, you hear the shit. Thank you for checking in with me. You wanna stay updated? Check out this playlist right here. Oh, you still here? Hit subscribe. Hit the block with a pack full of rock for the cost of my getting a joke.